Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope you are having a wonderful day. On this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you something that I call candle garters. And what they start with, basically, is a plain battery operated candle. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but I have hundreds of these just all over the house. Um, most of them, the batteries aren't good anymore, but they're just for the look of it, I suppose. We, we would probably not ever light a real candle on our mantle. So, um, so I'm gonna show you how you can take a plain candle that looks like this, or maybe it's white, and jazz it up. Super easy, you can swap them out for the whole year long. And I think this is my third video on this subject. This one's gonna focus on fall. So when I'm all finished, I'll try to see if I can't grab those old videos and I'll either reshare them or I'll put them here in the comments. All right, so today's projects are gonna involve these little wooden shapes. These are acorns, these are pumpkins, and these are fall leaves. They're all from Dollar Tree. You can get these kind of fall shapes other places too, but these ones are from Dollar Tree. We're gonna use a variety of different ribbons. And some of the ribbons have been on my candles for a while, I'll show you in just a second. And um, I just keep pulling the doodad off and switching it out every season. During summer, by the way, I love to do this idea and just use a natural, um, like a starfish or a, a sand, sand dollar or a, a pretty big seashell. Um, there's tons of different things that you can do. Okay, so let's start with how we're going to dress these guys up. All right, I have, I'm just looking around, I have some of these shapes. Let's see if we can see them better if I put them on the other side. You might be able to, I think so. And before I came live, I took these outside and I gave them one coat of this clear matte sealer, which I tell you what, I wish I owned stock in this company because it feels like every video I do where we're talking about something with wood, I tell you to spray it first before you stencil it. We're not painting these shapes, we're leaving them natural, but give them one coat, a quick coat of a clear matte sealer that seals down all the little pores on the wood and you'll get a crisper impression on your stencil. Okay, so that's what I did with all of these before I came live. And we're going to use one of my favorite new stencils from Magnolia. This one is called Lace, Lace Flowers and Berries. Look how pretty that is. Okay, and we're going to do all of these, these uh, shapes at the same time, but we're going to use different colors of chalk paste. So let me just get them laid out so they could all fit. Actually, separate these a little bit. Okay. And um, this is, this stencil I have used quite a few times already. I've mostly used it with chalk paste, so it still looks good. But it's not so sticky anymore that I need to fuzz it. However, if you're working with a new or newish Magnolia stencil and it's really sticky, be sure to fuzz it. You could fuzz it on a t-shirt, on a pair of jeans, on a fuzzing towel, which looks like this. Um, okay, so let me see, is everything gonna fit if I do it this way? No, I'm gonna need to stagger these a little bit so I can scrunch them in closer. I do want them all facing the same direction though. Okay, can you guys see what I've got going on here? Um, I'm just going to see if this will work. Okay, nope, not yet. Need to fiddle with this for a second. This is probably going to work, yes! 
Okay, and I'm just laying my stencil down over the top of these six wood shapes. There's two leaves, two acorns, and two pumpkins. And I'm just pushing it down on top of them. And then we're gonna decide what colors we want to do. So we're gonna do a variety. I'm gonna do the acorns in white chalk paste. We're gonna do the fall leaves. Hmm. In, let's try this one. I'm not sure how this is. Let's use this one for the pumpkins. It's called mustard. And then we'll use the gray for the leaves. Okay, so let me, and I have some over here that I've already done. I'm gonna show you guys the whole process of um, start to finish, how you make the whole thing, and then we'll talk about swapping them out. Okay, so what did I say I was gonna do? This one is gonna be pumpkins. Um, you do wanna move fairly quickly because you've got all these shapes and you don't want the chalk paste to start to dry in your stencil. So just took a little blob of it and I'm going to put this on my pumpkins. You can kind of see where they are, so you can tell if you're going all the way out to the edge or not. And pick up the big globs. Okay. Which lid was this one? Okay. Let's do the white next. We're gonna do this on the acorns. Not too much. Now this is chalk paste. Just to be clear, it's not ink. Um, because Ink, in case you're wondering, I know I get this question all the time, ink is primarily for fabric, like tea towels, pillows, t-shirts, totes, that kind of thing. It's for fabric and it's also for ceramics and it needs to be heat set with a hot iron to make it permanent and make it so it isn't sticky. So that's the reason why uh, we use chalk paste for this project. We can, if we want, Take this outside when we're all done, now I'm using the gray, and spray it with a coat of clear matte sealer to make this chalk paste permanent. Um, I probably will do that, uh, but you don't have to if you don't want to. These little shapes are, you get like six or eight of them for a dollar, so they're, you know, they're not a huge investment if if you're thinking, well, I don't want to waste them because I would want to wash them off, I think it would be more hassle than it would be worth to try to clean them off and re-stencil them with something different. Since they're like, I don't know, 15 cents a piece. So, something crazy. Okay, let me just get this last little part right here and pull off the big globs. Okay. Let's on these real quick. And we'll pull off our stencil and I'll show you what we've got here. Ooh, I love this mustard colored. And it's it's mustard, but it it reminds me a little bit in this application of a um like a a funky burnt orange almost. Ooh, and these White ones are fabulous. Okay, I'll show you all of these. So I'm gonna go throw this over here in a little bath of cool water until I can get to the sink to wash it. Try to get this off of my hands. And I'll show you what these look like. I love, love, love this lace stencil. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? And here's the white. It's really cool. This looks like frosting. <laughs> it seriously does. Um, and then here's the gray. Oh, these are so pretty. Okay, I want to tell you guys what happened to me today that I got this idea. So I was talking to my friend Tommy on the phone, Tommy Caldwell, 
and she was telling me about something she was working on and she was telling me that she was using the lace stencil on the little <clears throat> these little shapes from Dollar Tree and she was gonna make a banner so we were talking about how you could do that and I looked over and out of the corner of my eye I saw this candle oh wait maybe it was this one just sitting on my coffee table with no nothing fancy on it and I thought ah I'm going to copy Tommy's idea. She said it was completely okay with her, and I, but I'm going to make candle garters. So that's how I came up with this idea. It was not mine originally, but that's the thing about crafting is, um, you know, you might see something, take the gist of the idea, switch it up so it's you know, in your style for your kind of decor with your colors, and have something completely new. And that is what I've done. And these are really fabulous. So let's quick give them a little shot of some hot air and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm just using my heat gun. This is the mustard seed color, and it is fabulous. Okay, I think for right now, we're just gonna work with these pumpkins. So let me set the other stuff right behind me. And when you do a stencil like that, you can have a tendency to get some kind of clumps on the top and side of it. So I'm gonna just quickly wipe those off. This one has any, nope, not too bad. Okay, and um, okay, so what is a candle garter? A candle garter is anything that's gonna go around the tummy of a candle. And it could be anything from some um, burlap ribbon, which I tend to like things that are more neutral, but if you like bright colors, just find a bright ribbon that you love. I've used this one many times. This is decorative ribbon. I can't remember where I got this. I feel like it might've been from Hobby Lobby. This is a Dollar Tree ribbon. I've used that on them before. Um, I've used Buffalo Check, and we're gonna do one with this. Um, but my candles here already have the ribbons on them from my last swaparoo. And um, they even still have the blob of glue on their tummy, which is fine. So I think I'm going to do this on here and um, it'll look fabulous. All right. So, and you can take these off. They're not glued to the candle. The ribbon is just glued to itself, but you can take uh, the little band of ribbon off whenever you want and start over. And the thing I like about this idea is that, um, it's like having a whole new set of candles for every season. Uh, what, one, let's see, when was it? I think it was last fall I did this one. Uh, with, with a smaller burlap leaf and a button and some check. Okay, so let's take our low temperature hot glue gun and just put a blob of glue on the center. And I'm just going to plunk my pumpkin into it. All right, let's do this other one. And I'll show you what that looks like. And then when I'm sick of it, I'll just pull these pumpkins off. I could hang on to them or toss them, whatever. And do something for Christmas or change the ribbons all together but I did really like this. This is actually fabric and not a ribbon. 
And I think the color of this um, chalk paste on here goes with one of the colors in the ribbon. So there's that. What do you guys think about that one? Hey, I forgot to say any of my normal stuff. How's everyone doing? Um, as you're hopping on, tell me that you're here so I know that I'm not alone just talking to my phone in my craft room. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And if you want to link to that lace stencil or to anything else, to the chalk paste, just let me know and I'll get you one when I'm all finished. So there's the first set. Okay, and then I have some candles that look like this. This was the last candle garter that I had on them. And let's see if I can get these off without messing them up too much. You know what, maybe we'll, this one appears to be a little bit glued to the candle. Let's do this other one, these. This is um, burlap and then it's a pretty white ribbon on it. So I'm just gonna pull these off, see, and then I'll stick them in my bag of candle garter stuff underneath a cabinet where I store my ribbons. And I'll be able to put these back on and add a seashell to them or whatever I want at some future point. Okay, I wanna use this Dollar Tree ribbon and we're gonna do these pumpkins that I made earlier that I'll show you in just a minute. So let's see, how big do we need it to be? Clean up both ends. I like to kind of fold over this back edge so it looks almost like it's hemmed. So you're just gonna take your ribbon and lay it on your candle a little bead of glue on the ribbon. See, you're not even gluing it to the candle. You're just gluing the ribbon to the ribbon. And there we go. This is the front. Let's do one more. This is really fun to do at Christmas time, and it's super fun to do in the summer, too. And that. too long. Okay. And it really does not take much glue to put your little garter on and have it stay. Okay, so we have these two. Do you guys like this idea? Hi, Linda. Hey, Karen. Hi, Tanya. I want to say Nefreta, but I'm afraid is that not right how you pronounce your name? Hey, Rebecca. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Stephanie. Okay, so before I came live, I took some of these pumpkins and I did the black chalk paste and the lace stencil. And this is what we're gonna, how we're going to doll these guys up. So I, the back is here and I'm just gonna glue my thing on on the complete opposite side. And it just takes a little dab of glue. Candles don't get handled a lot, so they don't need to be, you know, super glued down. Thank you so much for the stars. Okay, so here's the set. Isn't that cute? Super duper cute. I'll get some pictures of these out in my family room. And I have one more to show you that I also did before I came live. And it's these sleeves. Oops. And I did these with that same lace stencil that I love so much. 
and I use this chalk paste that's called Irish Cream. It's a little different from the mustard seed, you can see, but they're both really nice, good fall colors. So this is the Irish Cream, and this is the mustard. All right, and we'll just add those to these guys. These guys did have this little rope around the tummy, but I took it off and we're just gonna put a little dab of glue on here. This is so super simple, um, but you get a great effect with it and it takes absolutely no time. Ooh, this might be the prettiest one of all. It takes absolutely no time. You can swap it out, use the same candles over and over and over. Every season when I change them, I'll get a um, paper towel or something and I'll just clean off, just wipe off the dust that tends to accumulate right here. And you can swatch, swap out new batteries every season if you want to. Where's the other one? Um, This just makes me feel like I have a whole new set of candles for every season. And if you just joined, you should come back and watch the replay. As soon as I'm finished here, these little wood pieces came from Dollar Tree. We used a magnolia stencil that's called Lace. Lace flowers and berries, I think is what it's called. And then we used some different colors of chalk paste, all from magnoliadiy.com. Super easy and then just various kinds of either fabric to go around the tummy of the candle or ribbon. And here are the ones that I have. Let me show you these. Aren't those pretty? And they're, um, they are a color called mustard. And then we did these. Whoops, and this little candle garter needs to be a little bit tighter because it's sliding down this candle's belly. But they look great from every side. And yeah. So that is basically what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I hope you liked this project. It's just so super simple and easy. And you can do this in absolutely any color, any style that you would like. Um, these were the other shapes that we did just a few minutes ago. This is another leaf and that's gray chalk paste. And this is a pretty acorn that has the white chalk paste. This looks like icing to me. It's so pretty. The stencil is awesome. Anyways, let me know if you want a link to that. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to sprinkle and all that usual stuff. Okay, so this is a great project because it was quick. It's a little different, I think. Um, it's repurposing something that you have so you don't have to keep buying new every season. Um, it's super affordable. And I love the fact that you can do it in your own colors and your own style for your own house or as a gift and just keep swapping it out all year long. Pamela says she loves them all. Well, thank you. Yeah, I will get pictures. And um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you want links, let me know. And I'm gonna hop off now and go see what you guys are saying. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with some craft projects here at DIY Dreaming. So take two seconds to look up here and see if you've liked and followed this page. And if you've turned on your notifications or do a this or a this. If you want to improve your chance that Facebook will actually show you what I've been working on. It is kind of a mystery how it all works. But, um, yep, that's pretty much it. So thanks for joining me and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye.